Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Nolly and today we're going to be looking at a Yamaha Recording Custom Shell Pack. The Recording Custom is one of the most famous ranges of drums that Yamaha have made. And after decades of production and then stopping for a while, they're now re-releasing the Recording Custom with a few minor tweaks to bring it up to date. Back in its heyday, the Recording Custom was the drum of choice for many top players out there. And in particular, Steve Gadd is a name that was long associated with the model. Yamaha have actually consulted with Steve Gadd for the redesign of the Recording Custom, and it's at his behest that many of the small modifications to the design have taken place. The shells in this pack are all made out of 100% birch, and size-wise we have a 22 by 18 inch bass drum, a 10 by 8 inch and 12 by 9 inch rack toms, and a 16 by 15 inch floor tom. Not included in this review is the matching Recording Custom snare, and the symbols we have up are our house set of Meinl Byzance Traditionals. The recommended retail price for this shell pack is £3,537, and with the recording custom having such an iconic sound, I'm really excited to dig in and see how this reissue compares. Let's come back for some more discussion after a few more clips. Our initial impression when we unbox this kit is it's super striking, it's a bold color choice. We personally love this surf green color, but combined with the traditional long bridge style lugs that you expect to see on a recording custom, there's definitely something very familiar there too. Upon inspecting these shells, we were blown away by the build quality. The original recording customs were always famed for just how well put together they were. So it's lovely to see that despite changing factory, Yamaha have managed to maintain or even increase the manufacturing quality here. Apart from the new finishes, the only things that are aesthetically different with this new model would come down to tiny details like perhaps the bridge lugs being slightly heavier duty than before, the inclusion of T-style tension rods on the bass drum, and the fact that the vent holes on the shells have been moved right down to the bottom instead of being placed in the center. The recording custom comes from the factory with USA-made Remo heads. We've got coated ambassador over clear ambassadors on the toms and a power stroke 3 setup on the bass drum. 
The shell pack doesn't come with any included muffling for the bass drum. So to keep things consistent with our other reviews, we've thrown an Evans EQ pad into the bass drum for this review. The bass drum is the area that's departed most from the original recipe for the recording custom. They've made the shell slightly thinner than before and with the heavier lugs, we're surprised to hear that the bass drum is actually a lot darker than you might expect from a birch kick. It's a full and satisfying sound with loads of low end, especially from the player's perspective. But it is worth noting that under the microphone, we didn't find quite as much attack as we'd be expecting out of a birch bass drum, and especially a recording custom. However, we do have a coated head on the bass drum there, so it's quite possible that that's part of the reason why. The rack toms have a lovely character. They've got a melodic note quality to them and a shorter note sustain as we've come to expect from the recording custom. Similarly to the bass drum though, we did feel like they were lacking a little bit in aggression in comparison to what we were expecting. However, again, it's very possible that it comes down to these coated heads. The floor tom took quite a while to get settled in just as we wanted it. It was very sensitive to adjustments, especially on the rezzo side. However, it was truly rewarding once we did find the right tuning for it because it came to life beautifully. It's a rich and full sounding drum with quite a short sustain in keeping with the rest of the kit. This is a top level kit, so it's going to appeal for drummers that are really serious about what they do, whether they are studio or live musicians. The original recording custom was famed for its versatility and this new version is no exception to that. It's gonna sit into pretty much any style or genre of music dependent on the player. As we've mentioned before, the build quality is absolutely awesome with these drums. There's no reason why they shouldn't give you decades of reliable service if treated right. As an example of what we're talking about, the seams on the inside of the shells are practically invisible to the human eye. It took us a good few minutes of looking before we could spot them. That's how perfectly they are executed. All of the shell hardware presented here is super heavy duty. Uh, it's noticeable if you pick up one of the new drums next to the old ones that they are a bit heavier and that is down to the extra bulked up shell hardware there. Something we would like to see are memory locks included on the floor tom legs, something that most manufacturers are including on pretty much all their kits, so it's definitely something we'd like to see Yamaha include on their top level kits too. Yamaha's yes mounting system is tried and tested at this point and it's always a winner. Despite having the mounts drilled directly into the shells, the rack toms don't seem to suffer from any noticeable lack of tone when put onto the mounts, especially not compared with other designs out there from other manufacturers. I'm a big fan of those T-style tension rods on the bass drum. It's actually a big time saver, especially when the whole kit's up in place. It's a lot easier to mess around with your bass drum tuning without having to fit your key in around the floor toms and rack toms. We feel like Yamaha have really achieved their goal of reissuing the recording custom in style here. The only thing that throws us off perhaps are those coated heads, which seem to be dampening a little bit of the trademark attack and aggression that we'd expect to hear from a recording custom. But we're actually convinced that if you were to put clear heads on this kit, you get all of that brightness and attack back. At three and a half grand, there's no doubt that this is an expensive shell pack. However, we do feel for such great build quality and of course the heritage and sound of the recording custom, it is justified. And if it's true to the form of the original recording customs, it will hopefully hold its value pretty well too. Overall, we feel like this is one of the highest quality production kits that you could buy. But why don't you let us know what you think? Leave us a comment, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time at Drummer's Review.